Hello, hello, my name is Joey and I'm with a company called Bath Fitter. We do tub and shower remodeling and I'm in beautiful Pacific Beach. This is where I live. I live blocks from the beach. You can see the ocean from the middle of my street. It's an unbelievable place. Uh, we're out here on the patio, as you can see. I'm basically a project estimator. I go to people's homes and what I do is I provide estimates on what it would take to solve their problems with the tubs and showers that they're having whether it's rusted or just outdated tiles are falling off or the fiberglass is cracked and chipped and that's basically the the role that I play is is project estimator and design consultant so we're gonna take a look today at my tub that I have in my house and show you the solution that we worked up for that okay so now we're actually sitting in the bathroom and I'm actually sitting on the rail of this tub here we know that it's a steel tub because when we knock on it like this, it makes a sound like a steel drum. Okay, so the idea is we're gonna cover this tub. Once we seal it to the new wall, the one piece wall, it's gonna cover this existing tile. Once we make a seal all the way around, there's no seams in the corner, so this is gonna be the only seam, basically. Once that's sealed with the bath fitter silicone and cures after 24 hours, it's a watertight seal and it's guaranteed and the acrylic is guaranteed never to chip, peel, rust, stain, fade, or discolor. If tiles are like soft or mushy or things like that, then the, of course the installer is going to remove that. He doesn't want to go over that. And whatever he removes, he's going to replace it with purple board, which is moisture resistant. So whatever tile he removes to access the plumbing, he's going to re replace that with the purple board so it's flat, flush, and level with the existing tile wall just wanted to take a moment and discuss a little bit with you about the tile that we're looking at here and the condition of the tile and also the plumbing behind the wall what I want to do is I want to update this plumbing I'm getting brand new acrylic I'm getting a brand new tub and shower so I basically want to update the plumbing that goes along with it and the way that we're gonna do that is the installer is he's gonna remove certain sections of tile remove all the pipes from behind the wall and remove the valve from behind the wall which is like the engine and he's going to replace these three handles with a single function valve and one shower lever i'm going to have him raise that up a little bit actually he's going to replace the tub spout and then we're also going to replace the shower head and shower arm and we're actually going to move it up about a foot so definitely looking forward to that once the wall goes in there's going to be a lot of selections that we can make pertaining to shelving. We can put shelves in these corners here. We could do like ledges, we can build a ledge. Uh, we could do grab bars for safety, not necessarily for age, right? So there's definitely a lot of options that we can take a look at after we put the wall in. So I wanna take a moment to talk about these tiles, okay? The tile does not actually have to be removed. The tile can stay just like it is. It's actually the perfect candidate for a liner system. This is pretty sound and solid. I don't think he's going to have to remove any of it. Now if I wanted to, I could remove and replace this tub completely with a freestanding acrylic tub, but I made the decision not to because it's not necessary and I want to keep the characteristics of this old steel tub that's been here for so long. Basically what's going to happen is there's a steel tub and we're going to use this tub liner to cover the tub okay so this is 100% acrylic it's the same material throughout a bead of silicone is used to adhere everywhere that there's a seam they'll seal it right to the floor they'll seal it where the tub meets the wall where the wall meets the existing wall and sealing and they'll do a window cutout of course because we got a window in there Okay, so in addition to the wall going in, once that wall goes in, many options for shelves, grab bars, everything that goes in after the wall is custom. I just wanted to show you that what I'm going to go with is a basic six inch tile pattern. Uh, the tub is going to be white and the wall is going to be white. But I just wanted to give you a quick peek and show you that there's many different options available as far as colors, styles textures of the wall. They could do a stone texture. They could do a texture that looks like bamboo. I mean, it's actually quite unbelievable. And it's still the same material. You clean it like glass, you wipe it down with Windex and a paper towel, okay? I know it kind of sounds like a commercial, but what can I say? I'm excited about getting it done and uh, 
Let's get into it.